Hey, okay, so just a short little video here to talk about one of my new favorite things, um, a television show on Showtime called United States of Terra. And if you have not seen it, you must, must, must start watching it. Um, in fact, start watching it now. Uh, get up from your computer. Why are you sitting here watching my stupid video? Go to your television and watch United States of Terra immediately. There's text. Um, four episodes now since it premiered back in January, I think, and um, it's just awesome. It's just such a great show, and I I love it. I have not been this like passionately in love with a show from the very beginning since I guess since like 2005 when Weeds also on Showtime, I might add, uh, premiered. And for those of you who know me, that is, um, those are strong words. Those are very strong words because Weeds is like my all-time favorite show on television and I think it's brilliant in every way. So for me to compare uh, United States of Terra to Weeds, that's, um, that's big time, I gotta tell you. So um, if you're not familiar with it, Diablo Cody, uh, who's the chick who wrote Juno, she is the executive producer and creator of the show, and um, she's also one of the writers. And then another one of the executive producers is Steven Spielberg, so pretty good names there to have attached to your show. Also has a great cast. Um, Oscar nominee Tony Collette plays Tara, and John Corbett plays uh, her husband. Then you've also got uh, Rosemary DeWitt. Now, I know that name may not mean a lot to a lot of people, but if you saw um, Rachel getting married last year, she was Rachel, okay? She um, was the Rachel getting married, and she was fantastic. I think she should have been nominated for an Oscar, truthfully. But anyway, Rosemary DeWitt uh, actually plays Tony Klett, aka Tara, her sister. And basically, the story is um, about uh, Tara and she has a multiple personality disorder. Um, DID is the actual uh, clinical name. Uh, she has two teenage kids, Tara does, um, Tara and her husband, and they are of course aware of their mom's uh, alters and they have learned to kind of live with it and deal with it just like her husband has. Um, she has, um, her oldest kid is a daughter, teenage daughter, who of course is going through all the things that teenage girls have to go through. and then. Um, her youngest is 14 year old son and he's gay so um, you gotta love that I mean how can you have a show about a crazy fucked up family and not have a gay kid so <laughs> and I love his character um, he's um, and I love that his parents just accept that he's gay like it's not like an issue at all it's just he's gay and it's just part of uh, part of their life just like um, just like his mom has three alternate personalities are just like his sister has blonde hair. He's gay. And uh, he's, a, oh, oh, and he has a crush on um, this guy that goes to school with him who also is the son of a preacher man, um, to use the title of a famous song. And guess who's playing, oh, guess who which actor they have playing the preacher's son. Yes, anyone? No? Okay. Andy Lawrence. That's right. As in Joey and Matthew Lawrence's little brother, who, on a side note, is pretty cute. And I think it's okay for me to say that now because I think he's legal in all 50 states. Yeah. I wouldn't kick him out of bed for eating crackers, if you know what I'm saying. <laughs> and I'm a cracker. There was this great scene where um, where he was wanting to back out of going to rehearsal because he had gotten stung by bees and had a bad reaction and so his face was all broken out and he didn't want the kid that he has a crush on, the Andy Lawrence character, to see him. And his mom, Tara, was like, uh, it was a great line. She was like, um, if you like him, then I'm sure he's a great guy and if he likes you, he won't care about the bee stings. Oh. How sweet is that? I mean, come on. Every gay teenager deserves a mom like that. I mean, I know I want a mom like that when I was a gay teenager. Um, granted, she has multiple personality disorder, so I guess you take the good with the bad. <laughs> Tolerant, understanding, supportive mom with three alternate personalities. I think that's the rule in life. Good 
and the bad kind of come bundled together. But anyway, it's a great show and I love it. And for like 80% of the shows that I ever love, me liking them is like the kiss of death. Chances are if I love the show, nobody else is going to watch it and it's going to get canceled immediately. So I'm begging you, I'm pleading you for me and for your own just sheer entertainment and enjoyment. Watch this show, okay? Don't fuck this up for me. Watch the show so that it gets renewed and I get to keep loving it. And uh, added bonus is I promise you'll love it too. So check it out. United States of Terror on Showtime Sunday nights. Um, a lot like Weeds, but not as dark. Like Weeds is a comedy with a whole lot of dark like dumped in. Uh, United States of Terror is like a comedy with a little bit of darkness just kind of sprinkled in for flavor. Oh, and on the premiere episode, on the pilot, they played two songs by the Eels, um, which I thought was totally fucking awesome. Um, so check it out. Buy it on iTunes. Don't download it or share it. Sharing music is stealing music. You cheap fuckers. So if you like the song, check it out. The Eels are awesome. Buy them and watch United States of Terra on Showtime.